Uh, coming up in a minute, we're going to talk to the manager over at uh, Frontier Firearms. I saw an interesting story uh, that's getting some national attention, and we'll get to that in just a moment. It's the Triple H Morning Show, News Talk 98.7 WOKI. 939 on the Triple H Morning Show. It's my pleasure to welcome to the broadcast the owner of Frontier Firearms, uh, Bryant Williams. Good morning, Mr. Williams. How are you doing today, Hal? Fantastic, sir. Is, have you seen the piece in the Daily Beast this morning? Uh, no, I didn't. I know that uh, they called yesterday and spoke to my manager. Uh, it says right here, this is what it says. Christians who are looking for a good deal on a gun need to look no further than Frontier Firearms. The Kingston, Tennessee Liberty Defending Establishment began offering 5% discounts last week for anyone who says I'm a Christian before purchasing a new handgun. The rebate was announced shortly after the tragic shooting at the um, Umqua Community College in Oregon, where the shooter allegedly asked if, the, if his victims were Christians before shooting them. And what better way to to honor victims of a mass shooting than to with a big gun sale? That is so unfair. That is well, so, that is so unfair. I want to say that on the air to you this morning. Uh, you guys have been a great part of our community. Welcome to the Halloran Hilton Hill Morning Show. And I said we got to call this guy and give him a chance to talk about his store and this story. Well, thank you very much, Al. I tell you, we were. I was particularly struck by this shooting. Of course, we had the shooting down in South Carolina, and obviously the, the victims there were, were singled out because of their Christianity. It happened while they were actually in a church service, in a prayer meeting. And then when this happened, uh, it was chilling. It was just, just chilling to hear the reports coming out. Now we know from Matthew Downing, the survivor, that, the survivor that was singled out, that indeed the shooter did ask people to stand up and, and say whether they were what their religion was and shot them, indeed shot them when they said they were Christian. Of course, others were shot that weren't Christian. But it's obviously that in this instance, Christians were singled out. And the, uh, almost immediately after the shooting, the president came on and gave his speech. And the one thing that struck me about that speech was he never mentioned the fact that Christians had been executed for their faith. And I thought to myself, enough is enough. I mean, uh, America's turning, to, turning his back on Christianity. Uh, Christians and Christianity can't be mentioned in any government function in any government office place. It's banned from our schools, banned from our places of employment. Uh, even at Christmas, for fear of offending people, businesses no longer me mention De Jesus Christ. And I read the other day there's a group protesting because baby Jesus is in a Christmas play. Uh, it's, just, it's just out of hand. And then, about the same time I was thinking that, our very brave go uh, Lieutenant Governor Ron Ramsey made a statement on Facebook uh, that said, that if Christians are going to be singled out, he would encourage them strongly to get a handgun care permit. So when I put those things together, it desynthesized. What can I do? I own a gun store. Surely to gosh, I can do something to help Christians arm up and be more prepared. So I had three goals in mind. Let Christians know that despite the growing opposition and hostility to Christianity, that there is a store, there is a place where they're respected and welcome, and that's Frontier Firearms. I wanted to help them obtain a firearm. And I wanted Christians an opportunity to stand up in public and profess their faith, their faith and receive a small reward rather than a bullet in the head. So I, I came up with the ad and I posted it. That was around the 2nd or 3rd. I don't remember the exact date. And then WVLT-TV came out and did a little story. And from there it blew up. Suddenly it was all over the country. Um, I got calls from Alan Combs of Fox News uh, Fox and Friends, different places, uh, looking for interviews. And, and generally, I, I turned those down because I, this wasn't about me. It was more about uh, a personal thing for somebody to walk into my store, give me a chance to talk about Christianity with them. And, and I'll say this, it's been a blessing. In this last week, I have been able to talk about Christianity, about our faith, about the beauty of the religion to people from all over the country, retired FBI agents in Chicago, People actually from the city where the shooting took place have called me up and thanked me. I've gotten calls from Texas, from Minnesota, from New England. The, the support is amazing. But there was a downside. And that's when the storm started brewing, Hal. Uh, so many people claimed offense to this ad. They said it was offensive. It was discriminatory. And every one of those people I tried to engage, and as I talked to them, I found out they fell into five groups. Liberals and progressives who hate firearms, 
group one. Group two, liberals and progressive and atheists who seem to hate Christianity, if not Christians. The third group, atheists who love guns but hate Christianity. And a fourth group, Christians who hate, who hate guns. And a fifth group, and this is, the most, this is the one that troubles me the most, Christians who do not hate guns but have a misunderstanding of our scripture, especially Matthew 5, 9, where it says, turn the other cheek, and of the commandment, thou shalt not murder, in Exodus 20, 13, and Deuteronomy 5, 17. So I had opportunities to talk to all these people and speak to them about Christianity and what it stands for. And the Christians don't have to be doormats and don't have to lay down to be beaten. They don't have to stand idly by and be shot and killed. That is very biblical self-defense. That we have an obligation to protect our bodies. We have an obligation to fight for our families. Uh, we see Luke 22, 35, 17, where Christ says, uh, Then he said to them, But now he who has a money bag, let him take it, and likewise a knapsack. And he who has no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. Jesus was going to he knew what was going to happen in the garden of the Gethsemane. He knew he was going to be put to death, but he wanted his disciples to live. And he knew he was going to send them out into a rough world with criminals and robbers and, and bad people. So he wanted them to be able to defend themselves. <laughs> and then we see in Ezekiel, <laughs> we're told, but if the watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow the trumpet, and the people are not warned, and a sword comes and takes a person from them, he is taken away in his inequity but his blood I will require from the watchman's hand. There we're told, if you see somebody about to be hurt, you've got to step in with your weapon and help them. And then in Nehemiah 4.14, fight for your brothers, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your houses. We're told that God wants us to defend ourselves. In Nehemiah, in Nehemiah it goes further. It talks about the Jews rebuilding their walls after they'd been attacked. And he says, so neither I, my brothers, my servants, nor the men of the guard who followed me, none of us removed our clothes, each took our weapons even to the water. And this tells us that we can't rely on guards, armed guards that we hire. We can't rely on the police. We can't rely on the military. We've got to arm ourselves and take care of ourselves. So, so anyone so you're, does, so you're passionate about this. Oh, this extremely, <laughs> extremely, How? You know, as a gun store owner, I'm not an evangelical uh, Christian. I don't talk to everybody that comes in the store about Christianity. Right. We have customers of all faiths, and they're all welcome. And I understand that, that you brought in the discount um, off well, offer. we did have people point out to us. Now, a lot, of course, a lot of people threatened to sue us, and my response to that was, well, anybody that wants to sue me can do that. That's their right. Anybody that wants to file a complaint can do that. But all we can say from day one, we have promised that no one comes into Frontier Farms and walks out feeling discriminated against. It's just not our style. We're, we, we welcome everyone. We welcome people of all faiths, of all, all race, all color, all national origin, and sexual per persuasion. We're about helping Americans exercise their Second Amendment rights. We're not about discrimination. So I did, I did loosen up and say, and just made the point, that if you're not a Christian, then just ask about your discount, because nobody is going to walk out unhappy with the pricing at Frontier Firearms. <laughs> That's smart. Uh, we're talking to uh, Bryant Williams. He is the owner of Frontier Firearms, and he offered a discount. What was the discount that you first offered? It's 5% off to any, any Christian who walks in the store who wants to buy a handgun, a new handgun, and says, I'm Christian. We want to give them a reward rather than a bullet in the head for saying that they were Christian. How many people have taken you up? I mean, has, have you had a good response actually in the store? Yes, we have, but I, I will say this. Every time President Obama gets on the radio or TV and talks about guns, our sales spike. There's no doubt about that. It's a fact all around the country. So whether our sales have spiked recently because of the advertisement or they've spiked because of President Obama going out and selling guns for us, I can't tell you. I will say that a lot of people have availed themselves of the discount. Wow. 656 um, 1-800-951-8255-POUND. 98.7 is a free call for customers of U.S. Cellular. Hit me on Twitter at Halloran. I, you've gotten some blowback, though. Um, have you gotten a lot of negative comments on Facebook? Uh, well, not as many as you might think. At first, uh, we got a lot. I think people realized that they weren't going to bait me into a uh, an argument or that I wasn't going to attack back, and so it slowed down. But, yes, we got some, we got some mostly... Mostly people wanting to use the power and might of the federal government to cower me, 
threaten me with discrimination lawsuits and try to shut me up. And when I realized that wasn't going to happen, I think it died down a little bit. But uh, I had a few uh, unhappy people that, that would send me private messages and emails uh, with, that was some pretty, pretty salty language. And uh, I know one person called me a Jew bag, and I thought that was interesting. Um, I have been accused of being Jewish when I come to the defense of Israel, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm Christian. Wow. Um, what's the key message you want uh, people to take away? Well, I, I think the message is, is that is that it is a dangerous world. Whether you're Christian, uh, well, it doesn't matter what your faith or if you don't have faith, you need to be alert that the world is becoming a dangerous place. And Christians in particular need to understand that, that if we're persecuted in the name of Christ, that's one thing. We're told to turn the other cheek. But if somebody threatens us with violence, uh, threatens to harm our family or threatens to harm us, we don't have an obligation to turn the other cheek. Uh, that was hyper hyperbole when Christ said, turn the other cheek on the Sermon on the Mount. It was just like it was hyperbole when he said, pluck your eye out or chop off your hand. It's offensive. Uh, he, he certainly did not mean for us to, to be unarmed, uh, both in the word of Christ and in the in, in, in a material manner with a firearm, for instance, uh, as that's the equivalent of a sword when he was alive. So the message would be, Christians, uh, uh, hold fast, keep your faith, believe in Christ and the love and peace of Jesus Christ, but don't accept the fact that you have to be a doormat. Don't accept the fact that people will tell you that you have to be slaughtered and killed and go down without a fight. That just isn't biblical. All right. Uh, thank you for taking the time to talk to us this morning. Certainly. Thank you for calling and giving me a chance to, to, to speak my mind so to, in my heart. Yeah, we, we'd love to know what you think and why you think it. Brian, uh, thanks for the call. You bet. Thank you. Yeah, that was, how cool is that? That was very interesting. And it's become this big national story. It's on CNN. It's on, they've got a big story uh, at Daily Beast today as well. 951 on the Triple H Morning Show, News Talk 98.7 WLKI.